All right, the friend zone, that fucked ass place that no guy likes to be in. How do you get out of the friend zone? Um, first realize why are you getting in the friend zone? I know some guys who habitually get in the friend zone. It's like they meet a woman and they go right in there where it's comfortable. And if that's consistently happening to you, it's because you're not going sexual enough. You're not making your intentions clear. You're not making it clear enough to the woman that you're not there just to be her friend, that you want to be her lover, you want to be her partner, whatever it is. So to avoid first and foremost going into that area, make your intentions clear. Um, so yeah, that would be one. Make your intentions clear. I'm thinking. Oh yeah, openers. A lot of guys, there's direct openers and indirect openers. One reason I like direct openers so much is it makes her like she has to make a choice does she want to go out with me or does she not does she want me in her life or does she not want me in her life that's the why i like going direct and very direct like sometimes i'll just ask a woman hey are you single or taken she'll if she's you know she'll laugh oh, maybe i won't be as direct as i am right now but i'll say are you single or taken and i'll smile and she'll say uh i'm taken or i'm single let's say she says i'm single and i'll say perfect i'm tony great to meet you and i'll smile and she'll start laughing and we talk but i like to go direct from the start so that she knows i'm interested in her and there's this, you know, there, what is it? You know, we might possibly have sex. So first and foremost, go direct to stay out of the friend zone. That's one. Two, if you're in the friend zone, first, you want to put some distance between you and the woman that you're friends with. People value what they have to work for. So you want to make it, you don't want to just be some easy thing that she can have whenever she wants. You want, you need to break up the routine. She needs to start seeing you in a different light. So what I actually like to do is I like to completely separate myself from the person and then after a certain amount of time, whatever I feel is good, I come back, it's almost like I've reinvented myself. Like you come back as this exciting, awesome you. Even though you might have been exciting and awesome the whole time, you just separate it, you know, you stop her from seeing you and then she starts to miss you and wonder what you're up to. You don't respond to her texts and calls. Fuck that, you have your own life, she needs to value you now. She needs to start seeing you. She needs to decide, does she wanna be with you or does she not? And uh, essentially is I, I put some distance between me and the woman, then I come back and when I come back I take her out usually on a date. You want to make it a date. You don't want it to be you know like a, a friendship type thing or whatever your old activity was. I take her on a date, we go for drinks, I sit next to her, I let the drinks, you know I have a drink or two with her. I don't want to say I do let the drinks do the work. But I have a drink or two with her. We remember why we're friends, that great time that we, you know that great chemistry we always had as friends and I just take it to the next level. Usually a drink or two. We're talking, joking, lots of kino, stuff that I w wasn't doing before because I was just friends with her. And then that usually escalates and that's it. And we end up making out and then hooking up. So that's how I do it. Lastly, if she still sees you as a friend, if you cannot get yourself out of that friend zone, and but you do want something more with her, take a break from her. Honor yourself. It, it'll be better for you and for her in the long run and in the short run. If you take a break from her and put that energy elsewhere so if for whatever reason you cannot get out of the friend zone then just cut it off you don't need to you're not obligated to be her friend just because you guys have been friends for a while doesn't mean you have to continue to be friends because it's just a hassle for everybody if secretly you like her or even openly that you like her so it does I don't think it does anyone any good so I highly recommend just um, you know cutting the cord essentially and if you want to come back to it you can there was some important point I wanted to make if it comes up I'll put it up uh, I, I did an in-depth blog post about this, so feel free to visit my blog. The link is in the description. I hope this helps. I don't mean to be that guy that hits on a woman as she's getting in her car, but I have to be that guy for right now. I'm Tony. <laughs>